For at TV, the world is thinking. If John McCain is elected president, Roe v. Wade is over, done, forget it. Oh, never, ne like, will be out the window. Now, not, the, the, not on January 21st, and, and maybe not for a couple of years. But, you know, this is the central symbolic and practical legal issue of our time. You know, Senate confirmation hearings exist for only one purpose, to try to pin down a nominee on whether they will vote to overturn Roe. And it's this kabuki dance, is like, oh, it's a precedent, is entitled to respect, how much is entitled to respect? I mean, you know, Nan has lived through these. I, I mean, it, it is, it is, that is what, uh, th that is um, the, uh, and, you know, the, the, I, I would hesitate uh, to, to I, I, the, the one counter to that, my statement is that I think the Democrats are looking at having 55, 56, 57 senators next, uh, next, in the next Senate, regardless of who's the president. But, you know, as John McCain was fond of saying, elections have consequences, and the president gets to name the Supreme Court justice, and it's very hard to defeat one. And he'll probably pick uh, some, uh, you know, governor or senator who is very presentable, very likable, who will give the usual song and dance about Roe in the confirmation hearings, and probably get confirmed. The president picks Supreme Court justices, not the Senate. And maybe that's right, maybe that's wrong, but that's how it works. And John McCain wins, Roe is on.